everybody. We're getting ready for the holidays, and I make the turkey and the ham and all the stuffing, and I make pies. I make lots of desserts. That's my favorite thing to do. Today, I want to show you how I make my pecan pies. So today on our making our pie, I usually make a pie crust, but today I cheated a little bit. We have a little, um, we have an Amish bakery, and I they had the dough all ready to go in the freezer, and so it's all homemade pie crust, and I bought that, and I've already, uh, I've already rolled it out and put it in the pie plate ready to go. Um, if you don't have that, I mean, you can either, I'll show you in another time how to make pie crust, but if you don't have that and you don't want to make pie crust, that's a good option if you have that option. Another one, I like the Pillsbury pie crust that are in the red boxes, usually over in the biscuit section. Those are uh, pretty fresh and you lay those out in the two. Those are really good pie crust to use if you want to use store-bought ones. So here we go, we're going to make our pie, our pecan pie. And the, the most important thing is, is to do them, to add the ingredients in the order that I have and mix them a little at a time each time. So, so when you make the pie, just do it in the same order and you don't mix, we're going to put three eggs in and you don't over mix them, you just, you just get them all blended together. And get these in here. So with each addition, I'm going to blend or mix them up. So we're mixing the egg. Okay, and that's good and mixed. And so now we're going to add a half a cup of brown sugar, and it's packed in so it's not loose. So you put in a half a cup of brown sugar, and then we're going to mix it before we add the next ingredient. You mix each of them well. There's a few little lumps in there, so I'm going to keep mixing that up. You can use an electric mixer too. But this is one you can just use your spoon. It's still kind of lumpy. I'm trying to get that lump out. I think I got it. So then next, we add a cup of Cairo syrup. Not a light syrup. Different ones call for different. You can do dark or light. I've always used the light syrup. Now, when you buy this Cairo syrup, it holds enough for two pies, so I know that I have a cup here, um, here because I've already made a cup out. I've already made a pie out of it, and the cup is gone. So I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna measure it. I'm just gonna pour it in because I know it's the right amount. And it's Cairo cor light corn syrup. You get it all in there. And then just mix that up. The whole point, just mix each set. Each time you put new ingredients in, just mix it well. And see, you can tell it's mixed. And then next, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Let me get a good half a teaspoon. Mix that up. And then I have, and then I, we're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla. I highly recommend the Mexican vanilla. It is the best. And I course cook a lot I bake a lot so I buy big things of vanilla so we're going to do a teaspoon of this and a lot of times with the Mexican vanilla you don't have to use as much I am because I love the vanilla flavor but you can actually cut back on the vanilla a little bit because the vanilla the, the Mexican vanilla is stronger than what you buy here so now we're going to mix that up And then, 
We're adding a fourth of a cup of melted butter, and I recommend using real butter, not margarine. Uh, that's, that's the secret in, in making sure it's all really melted. I microwave the butter, so that's how I melted it. So that makes it easy. Which a fourth of a cup is a half of a is a half of a stick of butter. Mix that all in there real good. It looks really yummy, doesn't it? Oh, and I should have said before I started it, I preheated the oven to 350. And once we get this done, we're going to cook it for 35 to 40 minutes or until it's set. Sometimes it takes a little longer, and you can tell because it jiggles. So now I've got a cup of pecans, and I, I keep my pecans whole. Some people like to, to uh, chop them up. You can do that too, but I like the whole pecan. So put that in and stir them all in. And when you th put them in your pie, they might sink, but when they cook, they're all going to rise. So it's all mixed up. Now we're going to pour it into our pie. Pies that you bake are really easy to cook for the holidays because you can cook them a day ahead. You can cook ahead of time, and so that makes all the cooking and prep time easy. And then get all that good gooey stuff in there. I'm just making sure the pecans are spread out so that whenever they're it's done, all the pieces have pecans. Now we're going to put it in the oven. Put it in the oven. Put it in the center, 350 for, I'm going to set the timer for 35 minutes to check it. Typically, my pies take a little longer. Uh, everybody's ovens vary. So, I'll check it in 35 minutes, and when you kind of shake it, if it's kind of shaky, you know, you need to let it cook a little bit longer. It'll feel, it'll look firm whenever it's done. And see, it's firm, so it's not, it's, the inside's not jiggling. The crust fell a little on this side, and that's because I let it get to room temperature. I let it sit out a little longer than I should have. I should have used it right away. So, but if I, it, it wouldn't have fallen if I had made the crust and put it in right away. But I'd let it sit there a little while before uh, we did all of this. So, but anyways, but it's still going to be very good. We'll wait and taste it in a little while. So, the hardest part is waiting for the pie to cool to eat. I always cut it when it's warm because I can't wait. That's the best pie cutter. So there you go. Get some whipped cream and put on it and it's scrumptious. Hope y'all have warm holidays with some great sweets. Thank you for watching my channel and be sure to subscribe to Mixed Vegetables Jody Turner. Bye.